proposed judge Albright. How does one read and write to Sector Heaven? Can uh, before we before we do that, because I'm going to need the board. You want to? Okay. Okay. Let's, we're going to back off a minute. I'm sorry. What publications do you suggest that people seriously interested in? Okay. Okay. Basically, uh, there are four publications that I've been using for a lot of information that give me a lot of inside information on the computer. One we discussed a little earlier was the TMS 9918A video display processor manual. And uh, another one, a uh, good one to have, is the TMS 9900 microprocessor manual. This manual uh, is, uh, covers the microprocessor in, in the 994A. The other book, which is uh, of considerable size, is the TMS, or the, the 9900 Family Systems Design Manual. This book covers the 9901s, the 9902s, the 9900s, some of the other TI microprocessors. Uh, it covers a, a wide variety of items that TI has available in the 9900 family series. And most of this stuff is, that you'll find in here, if you open up the inside of your computer, you'll find those chips in here, exactly what they are and what they do, and uh, how to interface to them. And there's some software routines in assembly language in here. And there's quite a bit of information in this book. And the last book, uh, I only recommend it because of the new computer, and it's the TMS uh, 9995 microprocessor handbook. It appears that that's what's going to be in this new computer that's going to come around. So you may want to get a jump on, get some inside information on that computer by looking through this manual as to how that microprocessor is mapped out. Question, uh, what's the difference between the 99,000 uh, besides uh, speed and memory addressability uh, and the fact that the 99,000 is a 16-bit data bus where the 9995 is an 8-bit data bus. See, the 9995 is a 16-bit microprocessor, but it's 16-bit internal only. The 99,000 is a true 16-bit all the way down the road. That's the big difference. And the 99,000 runs at 24 megahertz top clock rate. In other words, their TI is going back from the 16-bit to the... No, this, this, uh, the 99,000 is a newer chip than the 9995. Yeah, but I'm talking about, though, we're about TI. The manufacturer for the new machine is taking a step backwards. Well... Uh, the reason for that is, I believe, is that TI just raised the price on the 99,000 microprocessor and it went right through the roof. And uh, the second reason for it is the 99,000 microprocessor is a nice microprocessor, but it's not, once again, it's not being supported out there. And I have a feeling that TI is, I think, Lou's a little dubious as to whether or not it will continue to be processed by TI. It just recently came out of uh, an X-type chip, which means it was in uh, for just test. Uh, and just recently it came out. It took, uh, from the time they announced it, it took over two and a half years to actually get some production units out into the marketplace. And it is a nice chip, but uh, I think because of cost and availability in the future, I think that's why Lou is looking at the 9995, which also is a very fast uh, and very powerful microprocessor. So. Now, the smaller data, data manuals, I'm not positive on this, uh, but I believe the smaller data manuals are like $2 a piece, plus shipping from TI. And the big data manual is, I think it's $15. Uh, uh, some stores still carry it. Uh, they still have some on their shelves, but TI still uh, sells this manual. It's in my uh, latest list of data manuals available from TI. Now, I don't know, are you talking to the parts department or semiconductor group? One that used to be on Douglas Street, now Oh, I don't know who that is now. Oh, it's a service center. Oh, no. See, this comes right out of the semiconductor group. Excuse me, that's the office he's talking about. It's the PI semiconductor rep. It is. As well as the service center. Okay. And they say this is out of print? I don't know. I'm oh. I don't know why it would be, because they still make and sell all these chips. Oh, they went to this? Everything's in small book form now, huh? Okay. Well, that means you've got to buy a lot of little data manuals then. Basically, if you're going to do that, the only other ones that you really should look at are the 9901 and the 9902 series chips. The 9901 handles all the Crubit I.O. and it's used for our parallel I.O. out of our RS-232 card. And the 9902 is the serial chip that's used in the, in the RS-232 card to generate serial data. Yeah? Uh, probably more to the point, what's the main difference between the 9995 and the 9900 we have on our machine? Um, the 9995 has onboard scratch pad RAM, and it also uh, has a higher clock rate. 
And here again, our chip is uh, our chip is is 16-bit data bus. It's just not enabled in our computers. Where the 9995 isn't, it's 8-bit. That's the main differences, I would say. There are other things, and I and I did I, the 9995 has more instructions in it. It handles macros. The, and the same with the 99,000. It has even more instructions than the 9995. So you know they're all they're upwardly compatible, but not downwardly compatible. Okay. Yeah. I mean, GI 9900 family. Is there a bunch of business out there, or is the GI got dumb? No, I think they're going to hold on to it. They have a lot of equipment out there. They have a business system, uh, and uh, they have. Uh, the 990 system, development system that's still out there. No, there's a, there's a lot of computers that TI has developed as well as other companies that use the 9900 series of chips. Now, TI is still one of the largest semiconductor manufacturers in the world. So, and... Yeah, the 18A, yes. It's, it looks like, though, you had mentioned earlier the AVDP chip. It looks like there's a possibility that TI is not going to produce that chip. So, they... For what reasons, I don't know, but it looks like it may happen. Yeah? Uh, on the display you had earlier on the board, you showed a lot of memory and a lot of addresses we could use. How much of this is available to us at one time? What is the total memory or RAM or ROM that we have available to us at one time? How does this compare to, say, the Commodore 64 and the Atari? Ooh. Good question. Let me look at, I have to cheat and go back to an early newsletter, okay? I had it totaled up once there. I don't remember it. Um, all right. In council only, we have currently uh, 24K of RAM. Well, that's not true, but uh, let's, let's, let's go ahead and cheat and do like Commodore does, okay? So we had 24K of RAM and 26K of ROM and GROM total available to us. Uh, that was with just a council and nothing else. Now, once you attached uh, stuck extended basic in there, now all of a sudden we have 62K of ROM and GROM total, and we still have 24K of RAM. Now, if we add memory expansion and the speech synthesizer to the whole system, now we have 94K of ROM and GROM total. We have 56K of RAM total. So we've, we've grown way over the Commodore 64 now with the memory expansion card and the speech synthesizer. Uh, and then when you finally add the RS-232 card and the disk controller, that brings our total ROM and GROM up to 104K and 56K of RAM total. Now, the reason I say that RAM isn't true, it's, I, d I used one block as being 8K RAM, but that's the memory map devices, which are ports and stuff, and that's not true RAM. There's only 256 bytes there, so we really should subtract 7.75K uh, from that figure. But still, it's still a lot. There's still a lot there. And here again, if you figure out, if you had a, a Grom library box, add a half a megabyte to your system. So that's a lot of memory out of a $49 computer that was only advertised as being a 16K machine. Marketing strikes again. So the Commodore then would have 64K with Yeah, and then once you start loading their languages and stuff, I think you're left with like 12 or 14K or something. I'm not sure. Uh, it's a machine that I've, I've played with a few times and, and, and I went yuck and turned around and <laughs> yeah. And I have gotten a lot of cards and letters, by the way. Uh, it was interesting uh, from a few people that, uh, little comments like, uh, I left for a while and went to a Commodore, but I'm back. You know, that type of thing. So that was real cute. That was right after TI bailed. A lot of people got a little upset and frustrated and they went elsewhere, but they came back. So there, there's another machine that compares right now. Takes forever to load. The Commodore is a uh, real snoozer on that on their disk drives. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to take 